purpose of this video is to show you how to quickly and easily create a table inside of the Oracle uh, Application Express interface. So I'm going to log into my student workspace. And you'll see I'm presented with a number of options after I log in. I'm going to choose the SQL Workshop. Then I'm going to choose the Object Browser. And up on the top right hand corner you'll see this Create. And I can hit the drop down and select a table. So you can see I have uh, filled in the column names for our fictional table called Ship Tab for our cruise ship company. I've also filled out the data types for each of these columns. The first column, which is the primary key for this table, is the ship name. is a var variable character field uh, capable of holding a 100 character value. The next is the ship size, which is a number, and I have made it uh, capable of accepting a number uh, 10 digits to the left of the decimal point and uh, no digits to the right. And then the rest of the fields are either numbers or variable character fields of uh, varying sizes depending on the requirements for the field. So after filling this out, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And we can see at this point we get to choose whether or not we have a primary key. As I mentioned, uh, we are going to set our ship name as the primary key, so I have elected not to have the database automatically populate this field, but we will populate it as we add the ship names to the table. So I've chosen that as primary key, and again I'm going to hit next. Uh, next we can add a, a foreign key, which is a, a concept that we'll discuss uh, when we add another table. But there are no foreign keys to associate with this particular table. Then we have the ability to uh, add constraints, which allows the database to just enforce certain requirements for the fields that we have in our table. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a constraint that says that our ship size must be greater than zero. The next thing I'm going to do is create a constraint that says our ship service entry date, which is meant to be a year, is greater than 1970. The next constraint I'm going to create is that our ship registry will be in a predefined list of values. So I've used this in clause and listed the values I want to use. The last uh, constraint I'm going to put here is that our um, ship lifestyle will also uh, be a predefined list of values, which I've entered here. So now that I've added those constraints, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And at this point, the interface will have written the SQL it needs to create this table. And all I need to do is click the Create button. Now that I've done that, you can see that our table has been created with the columns as we've defined them. And if we were to look on our Constraints tab here, we'd see that those constraints have been created as well. So that's the basic process for creating a table inside of Oracle APEC. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to create a table that uh, uses an auto-populated uh, identification field uh, utilizing what's called a sequence on the database. We're also going to demonstrate uh, adding a foreign key constraint so that our ship name in this table uh, conforms with the names that we enter into our ship tab table. And then we are also going to show uh, just how we can create uh, not null constraints on our table as we go as well. And lastly, we'll set some default values on our tables. So uh, here you can see that I've entered my field names and data types. And then I know that uh, for these names, a couple of these fields, I want to make sure that they're not null. So I can ensure that's enforced by clicking this Not Null tab, and I'm going to do that for my departure date and my departure city, and then I'm going to click Next, and then here I'm going to say for my primary key that it's going to be populated from a new sequence. I'm going to identify my cruise ID as my uh, primary key field, and then the database will create a sequence that will uh, automatically put a number in this field as we add new records to it. 
Next, we are going to create a foreign key constraint. And uh, for this one, we are just going to say that our ship name must be a value from our ship tab table. And that must come from the ship name column in that table as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add that foreign key constraint. Then uh, we just need to, um, we don't have any explicit constraints that we're going to define for this table at this time. So we're going to keep moving here. And then lastly, we'll have our SQL that is written to create our table. We click our create button and that's gone ahead and created our uh, cruise tab table. Now, the, the one thing this interface doesn't offer us is the ability to create the default value constraints for a field. So the way that we're going to do that is to utilize the SQL commands area in our SQL workshop. And uh, I just happen to have a file where I've saved the commands to do this already. So for our ship tab table, we want to make sure that we uh, have a default value of contemporary for our ship lifestyle. So you see I've written this statement, alter table. I've given the table name, ship tab. I've said that we're going to modify this table and then I've given the column name, ship lifestyle, and said it's going to have a default value of contemporary. So if I highlight this statement and run it, you can see that it has altered the table, put that constraint on there. And now for our cruise tab table, we're going to modify it as well, making sure that we have a default value of seven for our cruise duration field. So again, I'm going to highlight this, click run, and you can see that the table has been altered. So that's how we will set default values for columns that the database will uh, set for us. Now, if we come back to the SQL workshop and we were to take a look uh, through the object browser at one of our tables, we can see now that the cruise duration for the cruise tab has been defaulted to seven. And if we go to our ship tab table, we'll see that we have a default value set as contemporary for our ship lifestyle. So now you should know how to create uh, a regular table uh, enforcing uh, various constraints inside of Apex. So you also know how to create a foreign key constraint, which means uh, that we're going to be requiring the values from another table be entered into a column in our current table. And then we also demonstrated how we can set the not null constraints and do a auto-generated number for our primary key.